Hello everyone, just Goran here and welcome back to another Quick Tricks tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to hide the path of a walkthrough exhibit. As you may know, the walkthrough exhibit is pretty limiting in terms of what you can do with it. You have this straight path and nothing much else. And if you try to hide the path by moving it down, uh, well, if you don't have free build, the game won't let you. And even if you could, uh, you have this curb and sometimes if you have it enabled uh, this fence that just goes up and up to the terrain uh, no matter what you do uh, and is really hard to get rid of but there is a way and that's what i'm here to show you today i have three ways for you this is what you can accomplish without free build and then i have two um, uh, options over here that require the free build mod if you don't have the free build mod uh, i'll leave a link in the description on a tutorial by leaf on how to install mods and it also applies for the free build mod so yeah you can use that uh, to install the free build mod i highly recommend it it's super useful um, but that's not what this video is about i'm just going to show you guys how these three things are built first up without using free build so we have our walkthrough exhibit over here and of course first of all we are going to uh, turn off all of the things and now we're just going to move this up for a moment so that we can actually edit the terrain around it because what we need to do is um, get our terrain stamp go into subtract mode and subtract the terrain under the uh, walkthrough exhibit and we need to make sure that it does not divot down like this we need a complete straight top and we want to dig out kind of around the exhibit a little bit so we're going to go like this and now we have a hole on the ground we are not going to fill that hole up again so that we don't have to go down as much and so we're going to add terrain and we're going to go as low as possible so that is this and i'm going to fill this thing back up and what you see now is that we have a super tiny chamber underground and that is what's going to cause the path not to come up again so as we pull this exhibit down you notice that without using free build we have to go really really far on the ground so if we had any animals inside of here um, they would actually often be hidden on the ground and you will barely get to see any of them that's why i don't think <clears throat> this trick works really well if you're not using the free build mod and i highly recommend that you do uh, another reason why this is an issue uh, to not use the free build mod is that you can't actually place any paths on top of this area and of course uh, once you have your um, exhibit in here you can't place down any paths either and if you put down the paths uh, before we dig out that hole in the terrain uh, we actually won't be able to dig the hole because of the path so yeah without free build this is pretty much an impossible task and there is not a lot you can really do with this trick so with free build the process is very much the same we're going to raise our exhibit up into the air now i would highly recommend actually that you build your pathing before you put down uh, or before you dig down the hole and put down the exhibit because while the stuff is not done yet you can still do things like this like attaching the path and stuff uh, if you were to do that in this area which has uh, already been kind of finished you'll notice that you can't actually connect paths up that way that's because they are being blocked um, by the exhibit and by the terrain being all weird so it's easier to do your paths first though it is possible to do it later anyway as we'll see so the process of uh, putting the exhibit down is pretty much the exact same uh, we're gonna go subtract mode with the stamp tool and uh, yeah get the terrain out of there like so and then fill it up again as such and now we can drag our exhibit down under there. But because we're using free build, uh, we don't have to go down nearly as much as you can see over here. Uh, we only have to go down this much to hide the curb. Uh, the fence is still sticking through, but if we turn off rating on elevated, we can just replace the path like so, and we get rid of it. Looks like some of it is still sticking out over here because I didn't do the terrain stuff right but there we go easily solved <laughs> so yeah we can 
now go in and add our path uh, like we would do otherwise. All right, so if uh, digging a hole underneath your uh, exhibit is for whatever reason not an option, there is always the last option, which is arguably the easiest one, um, but does use free build. Uh, and that is to just cover up the path normally and make an elevated path above it. I, I always love to use the natural path as an elevated path because it looks really cool. Uh, but yeah, using Freebolt, you can just create a path this way, go around the exhibit, make sure it goes over uh, the uh, path of the walkthrough exhibit. And yeah, you can make that any shape you want. And now you can just cover up the natural path with something like mulch. So yeah, that way you can cover up the exhibit as well and you get some really nice results without having to do all kinds of funky stuff with terrain. So yeah, that is how you can cover up the exhibit path and create your own custom path through it. Hope that was useful to you and I will see you guys in the next quick tricks tutorial. Bye bye.